Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to do 3D models for Sonic Robo Blast 2 cart in Blender and only Blender, entirely skipping Misfit 3D. I am using the latest version of Blender, which in this case is 2.91, but this should be applicable to older versions as well because the plugin was made for older versions. First things first, you will need two things. First will be my cart template, which I will include a link to in the description. It contains the V1 cart, already rigged up with a skeleton and animated, you can see. Basically, it doesn't need to be touched at all. It is scaled correctly. I even have included the original Sonic model as a reference to show scale when you are importing or using your model. Second thing you will need is the MD3 exporter plugin that I have been using. The link is in the description. To install it, you'll basically need to download the file at the link, then go edit, preferences, go to add-ons, install, find the add-on, install it. And when you're done, search for MD3, make sure it is ticked. It will appear here on the export. So this plugin is only for exporting MD3s, it is not for importing MD3s. Okay, so now to get your character animated with the cart, there is two methods. There is a method similar to what you would use in Misfit 3D, in which you just grab the parts of the model and rotate them around to go where they want to go. The other method, which is slightly more complex to set up, will make animation easier in the long run. It involves a rigged character which you use some phone constraints to link it to this cart which takes care of all the rotation and scaling. Then all you need to do is just animate the character. First thing I'll show you is the first method which is the misfit style method. I'll quickly put together a quick box character and I'll animate it to fit the cart. Alright, now with the little box man created, I'm going to animate him to fit the cart. So what you're going to need to do is you can either hit this record button, which will automatically create keyframes as you move it around and transform it. I prefer to do it manually by pressing the I key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my boxes, hit I, go location, rotation, scale. So what I'm going to do is Go up here and untick this so I can't actually select the cart anymore. So all I can do is select my cube. Now with them keyframed, I'm going to just do a quick animation to fit. What I'm going to do is hit R to rotate it and hit X to keep it on the X rotation or the X axis. Same with the rest of the, except with the Y axis. Like them, I to make a frame. The other way. So we've got our turns. Now, what I can do is select these. Keyframes, Shift D to duplicate them, and then over here. That's the drift frames. Oh, the drive, the the driving frames. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab. That turning frame, duplicate that to here. Going to like up here, so 3D cursor, so it rotates around the 3D cursor. The 3D cursor is not on 0, 0, 0. You can hit Shift C to, sent it, to set it back to the middle. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit R to rotate it, hit Z for the Z axis, 
and then rotate him to fit that better. Have his hands on the steering wheel. Now we hit I to set that. And I want this one. Station and scale. One thing you need to do before you start animating is go up to Edit, Preferences, Animation, and set Default Interpolation to Constant. That way the animation actually snaps to each frame rather than blending in between. So if you have gaps between keyframes, there's no blending. Okay, so with these guys selected, I'm going to copy the first frame. D, go up here to spin out. So it's a neutral. And it's going to, and then when we go to squish, I have to scale in down on the Z to fit I, location of scale. So now your character is animated to fit the cart, and this is using the misfit method. The next step will be exporting, but I'll put that after the explanation on the rigged character. Alright, now we're going to import a rigged character. If you don't know how to rig a character up, I'll probably put up a tutorial to show how to do a very basic rig that was that is probably pretty appropriate for a low poly character. If I do one, I will link it in the description. Okay, so now we've got our blank cart template. Next thing we want to do is open up our character. So I have one already open over here. This is my little Junio Sonic, rigged up with a nice IK rig. All I need to do is grab a few bones. And he animates pretty well. So I have set up my character with two heads. See the basic head and the surprise head. They're just rigged to two different bones. A head for the spin and a head for the default. They're just rigged normally to the body. The point of this is so you can select one, scale it down to very small so it's hidden while the other one is showing. All right, anyway, I'm going to save that. I'm going to head back over to cart. I'm going to go file, append, find your model, go to objects, select all the objects, and append. Scale will vary, but all you need to do is select it, scale it up to whatever size you need it to be. Okay, what to do next is go into the edit mode. I basically rig all the IK bones and the body bone to a root bone. So when I grab the root bone, everything moves with it. That way the body stays separately. I'm gonna head to edit mode. I'm going to grab this root bone and drag it to the bottom of the body. So basically where he will be sitting on the seat. Move it there, pose mode. Now what I'm going to do is head over to, with the root selected, head over to the bone constraint properties, add constraint, copy location. Now find the target, which is the cart armature and then the seat bone. What that does is it snaps him to the seat bone. Now I'm going to add a rotation. Do the same thing, cart armature, seat. And then copy scale. And same thing again, cart, seat, offset. So he will scale with it. And now you see, as I play 
through the animation, he automatically moves with the cart, rotates with the cart, scales with the cart. All that you don't even have to worry about anymore. Next, all you'll need to do is just pose him to where you need it to be. And using the same method as the misfit method. Select your bones and then transform. Oh, set keyframe, location, rotation, scale. And you just animate it like that. Here's one I prepared earlier. See? He plays with the cut just fine. As I was saying with the head, pose mode, see that you there is our original head. And that just gets scaled down while the rest of the frames the other way around. So the, the spin head gets shrunk down and the regular head is the full size. And now I'm going to show you the exporting process back on the original box man. It's the same process with either method, either the misfit method or the rig method. First thing you need to do is make sure that your character is triangulized. You can do this by either adding modifiers and going triangulate, or I find the easiest or visual method is to just select all your character parts, go into edit mode, go face, triangulate. And now it's all triangles. You will get an error if you try to export without all triangles. It has to be triangles, can't have any quads. All you have to do now is select, hit A to select everything. Oops. Let's unlock that one. Everything needs to be selected. Any skeletons, objects, and everything. So the cart and the character. There you go, file, export. MD3. Let's export it as cube.mp3. No, MD3. And export. And now it is done. Now, what I'm going to do is start copying stuff over to my model folder. Cube. Grab the template blend and the template PNG. Place it over here. Make sure these templates are named the same. So cube. Going to edit the model file just for Sonic to cube. Now I'm going to open the game. As you can see, there's a little cube man. Again, no problems. No misfit needed at all. That's my tutorial. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments.